Hey, what's up? I'm Ashley. Thank you for watching this video. And today we're going to be breaking down the trailer for Yellow Jackets Season 2, Episode 6. And let's get started. In the trailer, we see Misty telling Shauna to push. Then we hear adult Misty saying, you'll never believe where I am. We also see adult Misty telling adult Lottie, I thought you would be more happy to see me. Then adult Taisa is trying to get a hold of Shauna, but Jeff picks up and he's telling her that Shauna's in the bathroom. Knowing good and well, she's at the police station. We see them chanting in the cabin. We hear the wilderness and the wilderness hears us. Then we can hear adult Lottie saying, it sent them here to show me. Now let's get into some of these screenshots. We see Shauna laying down and then we see everybody around her. First of all, I don't need all y'all around me. I don't even want y'all in here. Misty, get away from me. Get from in between my legs. Akila, come here. Come to the front. I only want you here and Taisa. That's it. Akila put Van's face back together. So she's the only one I want delivering my baby. But Shauna's over there going through it and Coach Ben don't want to hear. Instead of covering your ears, why don't you hop over there and see if you can help? Give her a hot towel or something. Maybe even a cold towel. I don't know. I don't know what they be needing. Give them something. But while Shauna's in pain and Akilah's trying to deliver this baby, everybody else is back there chilling. Look at them. They don't look in a panic. They don't even look like they care. I don't know what they could be doing, but they could be doing something instead of standing around me looking at me while I'm in pain and instead of just standing back there chilling. But I don't know who hands these are. Do y'all think those are Akilah's hands? And that has to be Shauna back there laid out. It just gotta be. And the stomach looks a little bit big too. Or what if they're tricking us and that's the baby? Because unless Shauna took off her shirt or something, because this is what Shauna has on when she's pushing and that don't look like that. That can't be her. And if that's the baby, it doesn't look like it has its mouth open. It don't look like it's crying. So something's wrong with it then. Y'all think that baby made it? And whose blood do y'all think this is? Do y'all think that's Shauna's blood? Was Shauna bleeding out on Lottie's gift? And if you notice, there's really no blood on the symbol, but there's blood everywhere else. What that mean? It's untouchable or something? Maybe they wrapped Shauna's baby up in this blanket. Whether it's dead or alive, they wrapped that baby up in this blanket. And right after the baby was born, something weird started happening. Just like when those birds fell down on the house. Maybe something else like that ended up happening because why else would they be showing us this blanket? But Lottie is definitely involved since this was her gift. And what is this? Is this another piece of the blanket? Whatever it is, it's on fire. Who over there starting fires? Do y'all think the baby died and then they ended up wrapping it up in that blanket and throwing it in the fire? That seems really kind of gruesome, but I mean, what else would they do with the baby if the baby didn't survive? They're not going to eat it, y'all. The cast already said that they will not be eating this baby. So maybe they did throw it in the fireplace, but y'all let me know your theories about this baby. So who's cutting up their hand? I don't think it's Lottie because Lottie's been walking around in this little fur. So the only other people who looks like they could be wearing something similar to this is Mari or Travis. I'm guessing it's Mari because just look at her. Look at her eating everything up Lottie be serving. It could be nasty and she's still going to eat it. Lottie can say here, this is poison, eat it. And Mari would eat it all up. She'd be licking her fingers, making sure nothing is left behind. She'll eat Lottie's poison, but she wanted to come from Misty's neck when Misty did it on accident. And whose fault was that? Mari's because she started sticking her nose into something that wasn't even her business and ended up having Misty serve everybody that mess. But this is the part where it looks like everyone's gathered around doing their little seance thing, talking about we hear the wilderness and the wilderness hears us. Just chanting it over and over again. But can y'all go outside with that? What makes y'all think I want to hear that while I'm in the cabin? Y'all go outside to y'all little tree stumps and say that out there. I've never been in labor, but I feel like you would be irritated if you're over there trying to push and in pain and some loonies are over there in the corner chanting over and over again. I don't like y'all. Now I'm really, really irritated. That's another reason why Coach Ben was probably covering his ears. He don't want to hear that. Because Misty looks upset and it most likely has something to do with Shauna. I don't know, but just get your hand off my chest. So now Thaisa is in the car with Van and Thaisa is calling Shauna, but Shauna's not answering because she's at the police station. So Jeff ends up answering her phone instead. So he's like, oh, she's in the bathroom. He don't know how to lie. So we see Shauna in the police station and she got a look on her face like, I don't even know why you got me in here. 
I'm gonna get away with it anyway. I'm cool with Misty Quigley and she know how to get rid of a body so I don't got no worries. I don't got nothing to worry about so when y'all gonna let me go. No, I don't want no water. I don't want no coffee. I don't want none of y'all donuts. Just open the door so I can get out of here. But when they start asking her questions, she's gonna do that thing that she always does. She's gonna start looking up in the sky, trying to pull every light out of the sky that she can. It's just random lies, just random. But I'm like, what evidence did they have to call her down to the station anyway? Was it that condom filled with lotion? Like, that don't make no sense because I'm not going down there for that. I'm not wasting no gas going down there for that you're gonna have to come to me with some hardcore evidence with some handcuffs ready if you want to see me down there and what does dumb dumb Callie have to say what does she have to say now i feel like shauna going to the police station is pointless and i feel like shauna's gonna end up getting out of this whole thing especially since Callie is a minor i feel like they're gonna be like Callie's a minor you was out there drinking with her blah 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 and then Jay's going to be the one that ends up getting in trouble or something. Something's going to happen like that. But I want to see them lock up Shauna. Clink, clink. If it's only just for one episode, I'll be happy. But finally, we're seeing the group back together again. And Lottie looks shocked. She looks surprised. But what's standing out to me the most is what Natalie got on. She got on heliotrope. Not purple. Heliotrope. She's head to toe in it. I never thought. I'd see today. What is going on? She for sure was hypnotized, huh? I don't want none of that hypnosis. I don't want none of that. But in the trailer, we hear Lottie saying, it sent them here to show me. Who is it and show you what? Again, who is it and show you what? Girl, I'm tired of the runaround. So since they're all there, I expect some answers in this episode you better go in there pull out that queen of hearts again with his eyes blacked out or whatever and get that knife and start cutting your hand up again because we all need some answers pull out that flashlight and use it on whoever i'm trying to see something i'm trying to find out something but right here it looks like misty's probably like oh my god my friends in the trailer it sounds like it's her saying you'll never believe where i am and most likely she's talking to taisa because we know she's been trying to call her and get in touch with her, but she hasn't been answering. So maybe this time, Taisa did actually answer. That's why Taisa and Van got in the car heading down to Lottie's cult. And the reason why Shauna is there is because they had no actual evidence against her. So Taisa most likely called her, and that's how Shauna found out. And she headed down there in her minivan, because that looks like her minivan in the back. Lottie did not seem happy to see Misty at all. I wonder what happened in the wilderness to make Lottie not care for Misty. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is Misty, but... I wonder what was the final straw for her. But why is Misty beating on these drums? Is this an extracurriculum activity that she chose to do? And why is that woman over there looking like she in pain? Why is she in pain and nobody's having a reaction besides the man that's right behind her? But it's not even really a reaction. He's just calming her down. What is going on? Why do Natalie and Lisa always have something to say to each other? Do y'all like each other or not? Do y'all want to be friends or not? Who is Lisa? And why does she have so much screen time? A lot of y'all are telling me that y'all think this is Shauna's baby from the wilderness. And I don't know. I don't know. But if she's not a big part to this story, then she's some kind of a small part at least because she's getting too much screen time. And I know it can't be for nothing, but y'all let me know what y'all think. And just in case you didn't know, we're on a two week break. So episode six won't be airing until May 5th. But y'all let me know all your theories in the comments so we can talk about it. And if you haven't already and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.